Well, hello there, YouTube. I actually forgot to turn on my <clears throat> Senna backpack and my Senna headset so I could talk to this video. Anyway, today is Friday. I took off a couple hours early, and I am actually going over to um, Central Texas Power Sports. Can Am is over there giving, uh, letting people test ride. So I'm actually going to go test ride a uh, F3 Touring just to give it a shot and see what it feels like. So I'm heading over that over that way, and I'll have to do a voiceover on that too to let you know what I thought of it. Anyway, bye. Well, here we are pulling out of the dealership. I'm on the F3 um, Touring. It's got the Tour Pack on the back, and I kind of like it. I can't tell much right away. First thing I noticed is that the uh, the motor, it's the triple, but it still feels kind of weak compared, of course, to the six-cylinder Goldwing. Kind of reminds me of uh, the sound of a golf cart, you know, kind of a, a gas golf cart, just kind of kind of strange sounding. But the 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 F3 rides really smooth. I really like the way it rode and the way it it felt. I've watched a lot of videos and heard a lot of people talk about how twitchy the spiders are. And this, I mean, I've been riding trikes since I got my Goldwing almost three years ago. So this thing, you know, I I just it just tracked smooth, perfect. I didn't feel it. Um, didn't feel it. Uh, you know what do they call it, twitchy or, or didn't feel it, uh, you know, all over the lane. It kind of stayed where it needed to stay in the entire lane. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. I, I, I don't know if I like the paddle shifter. I don't, when it downshifts, it kind of lurches. Even when you got your foot on the brake, you can kind of feel it lurch. Um, the thing I did like about it is how, how smooth it felt and how easy it was to ride. I just didn't, the motor just didn't do it for me. I mean, I really enjoyed the ride. I I don't think I could actually buy one just because it's. I don't think it's going to last, you know, like a Goldwing, and it it certainly doesn't have the power uh, that a Goldwing has. So you know, I have a, a fifty, almost fifty one thousand miles on my Goldwing already, and it's like two and a half years old. And I don't think you'll probably. I don't know if you get this kind of mileage out of these things before they just kind of. I don't know. I just don't don't think it would. But I I really did like how it rode, and I enjoyed riding it. And if I had a, a ton of money, I would probably buy one. But I still would never get rid of my Goldwing. Anyway, uh, it was kind of cool, kind of fun. Didn't really get a chance to get out on the highway to see what it would feel like, you know, going 65, 70 down the highway. But I did enjoy the ride. It it it, it actually was not twitchy. It didn't drift all over the place. It just stayed there. You just, you know, I'm used to riding the trike, so I'm not used to, I'm just used to resting my hands on the bars and letting it go. And, you know, if, I guess if you're coming from a two-wheel motorcycle where you're gripping the bars and leaning and turning, you probably hate these things. But uh, it was simple to ride compared, even, you know, since I've been riding Goldwings, this thing was just simple to ride. I enjoyed it. I don't think I could buy one. Um, but I did like it, and I liked the looks of the F3. Anyway, bye.